My beautiful friends it's Amanda here and today we're doing a BYOP with me but we're doing things a little bit differently this time instead of drawing inspiration from elsewhere like polling my audience on Instagram or trying to recreate a discontinued palette we are going to use a random number generator to build a ColourPop palette I have all of my ColourPop single shadows organized sort of by color. I tried my best. There's a lot, so it's pretty overwhelming to organize that many. I have 223 single eyeshadows from ColourPop, many of which are out of stock or discontinued. The whole point of this video is just to have fun, try something different, experiment, get out of the comfort zone a little bit. So let's take a look at the process of letting a random number generator build a palette for us, and then I'll meet you back here. You'll be in the same place, but then I'll be back over here. Okay, I'll see you then. Here are all of my ColourPop single shadows. I do have them very imperfectly organized by color, but I went through and I put sticky notes on each one. This way we can easily find the shadow that the number generator picks for us, and I don't have to try to keep them in any sort of order. As you can see, this is my last palette. This means that I have 223 ColourPop single shadows. This does not count the glitters. If you know me, you know I don't really enjoy pressed glitters of any kind, so those are not gonna be included. Here's our little empty palette that I'm gonna fill up. I just Googled random number generator and this is what popped up. So I'm gonna change the max value to 223. I'm gonna randomly generate 12 numbers and we're gonna build our palette. It might be fun. It might be super ugly. Who knows? Let's get our first number. Ready? 101. I know this palette is all my blue and green shades, so we're definitely starting off with a bang. Let's see, the first one in here is 86. Here is our first shadow. It's called Gridlock. Whew, all right, not what I would have chosen, but that's the whole point of this experiment. Let's pick another one. 223. Oh, that's our last shade. So we're going in here, lots of toasty orange and some orangey browns. And our very last shadow is this one. It's called Crisscross. So we'll pop that in. Time for another shadow. 158. That's going to be in here. Got some neutrally toned. So this starts at 157. So this shade. This one called Liar Liar is our next one. Sh time for shade number four. 19. So we'll find that in this palette. This one starts with 13. 19 is this really cool shifty green shade called Sideline. Definitely getting out of the comfort zone today, that's for sure. Time for Shade number five, 116. 116 will come from this palette. Some more neutrals. So this, this shade is 116. This one's called Comeback Kid. 103, going back to the blue palette. So shade 103 is this sparkly blue called Antimatter. Here's our palette so far, we're halfway done. Looks pretty cool. I mean, it's definitely not my usual, but hey, that's okay, that's fun. Time for another shade, 186. That will come from this palette. Ooh, yellows and some neon greens, some golds in here too. We've ended up with this very bright neon yellow green called Deja Vu. Wow, okay, all right. Next number, 29. We'll have to go all the way to the bottom for that one. Okay, number 29 will come from this palette. Lots of pinky, corally, some kind of fuchsia shades in here. That will be this matte pink called Poodle. Whew. It's looking pretty crazy right now. It doesn't look bad though. I'm surprisingly very interested in it, so we'll see where this goes. Keep going. I only have four shades left, so 
147. Oh, this is my purple palette, or one of my purple palettes. Also a lot of cool tones in here. Here is the 147th shade. This is a mauve purple matte with some glitters in it. This one's called Pretty Cruel. Three more. No whammies. No, I'm just kidding. 198. Going back into this yellow, green, and gold palette again. Oh man. So 198 will be this shade. This is a favorite shade of mine. You can tell by how beat up this little shadow is. This one is a matte mustardy brown called Paper Tiger. 190. Same palette again. All right. 90 is a bright matte yellow called Take Flight. Let's hope that this kind of pulls everything together. It's looking a little random right now. 20. Back to the greens. So shade 20. That'll be this matte olive green called Team Captain. Here's the palette. I'm a little bit scared of this, I'm not gonna lie to you. I think what I'm gonna do to make it easier for me to use is play around with the arrangement a little bit and see if I can't make it into something that reads as a little bit more user-friendly. So let's, let's try that, see what happens. There, now that it's rearranged, it just looks like a little kind of rainbow palette, doesn't it? It's actually pretty cute. I like it. Let's swatch all these together and see how they look. I like it a lot more now that it's rearranged and less randomized, one might say. Let's look at the swatches. I think it's cute. I also wanted to use this palette to do a little tutorial because this is so far outside of what I would choose personally, the kind of palette I would design for myself. I really wanted to use these shades, put them in action, and try to step outside of my norm just a little bit. I know I'm not wearing the blue, but I am wearing the green, and green is not a color that I really play with or reach for a lot. I'm proud of myself that I didn't just go straight to the neutrals, purple, warm tones. So let's take a look at the little tutorial now. As usual, I'm going to first prep my eye with my favorite eye base. It's the MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. Then for my crease color, I'm going to use Paper Tiger. This is just one of my favorite mustardy yellow shades. I'm really into this color right now, especially because we're coming up on fall. So I think I'm going to go for like a grungy fall type of look. Next, I'm using Team Captain. This is the olive green shade. What I'm doing is packing that on with a brush, starting in the center of my eye and then sort of blending up and out with padding motions. I don't want this to be too harsh of an edge, but I also want these colors to stay really defined and not get too muddy either. I'm going back with Paper Tiger this time on a small flat brush, and I'm just going to put that along my lower lash line, really smudging that color out. And then I'm going to go back in with just a little bit of Team Captain on a pencil brush and put that on the outer part of my lower lash line. Next, I'm using Sideline. I'm going to apply this with my finger, starting in the middle of my lid and sort of patting outward so I get that nice shimmer shine right in the middle of the lid. Then I'm going to use Liar Liar just a little bit on my pinky finger for an inner corner highlight. Not too bright today. Then I curled my eyelashes and added some of this Essence Mascara, and that's my finished look. Super simple, only four shadows, but I think it looks really fun 
really interesting and I can't believe I actually love it because I'm not usually into green eyeshadow, but I think this looks so cool. This process was so fun. I actually love this little like grungy, almost fall autumnal eye look that I came out with. I would never have pulled these shades and used them today if it wasn't for this random number generator selecting them for me. And I'm really glad. I like it. I think the eye look is cute. It's not super technical. It's pretty easy. With the grungy colors, you can kind of go for a more smudgy, grungy, imperfect eye look, which I love. I'm not very technical when it comes to my makeup application. So I just had fun with it. I would definitely recommend you trying this at home. It doesn't matter how many single shadows you have. It doesn't matter what brands they're from. Just figure out how many you have, get a little random number generator going and see what kind of color palette you come out with. I would love to hear what you guys think. If you try this at home, what do you think of this eye look? What kind of BYOP do you wanna see next? I always love to hear what you guys think about things too, so make sure you leave all your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I'm gonna start over because none of that made sense. See, that's what happens when I wear green eyeshadow. Messes me up every time. Let's scoop. Why would we say, why would I say that? What would be the point of saying that, huh? Hmm? Hmm? Ran, huh? Why did that feel like the most random disjointed? It probably was. It's because of the green eyeshadow, I'm telling you. I feel like my friends, Karen Harris and Amy Loves Makeup would be really proud of me for this look though, because they are both green girls. It's just still so hot here. Is it really stupidly hot where you guys live too? Well, I guess just the Northern Hemisphere, right? We have opposite seasons. I can't believe I have three palettes of neutral singles and I didn't end up with any browns. I definitely got some neutral shades, but I didn't end up with any browns. Weird, huh? I mean, it's not that weird. 223 shadows. Wouldn't it be funny if this was how makeup companies planned their palettes? They just like used a random number generator. <laughs> That's how the pop of blue began, now we know. I'm just kidding. That's, I just made that up. I'm just joking. It's gorgeous. It's kind of sad that a random number generator can make a prettier, more interesting palette than some people who like are intentionally trying to make palettes. But you know, there's some pretty lame, boring palettes out there. That's me talking and I like a neutral palette. It's just sometimes. Okay, I love your face. Have a great day. Bye.